Tomorrow morning, thousands will gather at Lambeau Field for the annual 9-11 Memorial Stair Climb, honoring the 343 firefighters who lost their lives on September 11th. Among those participating is a Wisconsin couple with a powerful story of survival. They were inside the Twin Towers when the planes hit. And it was one brave firefighter who gave them strength that day. And now they're determined to ensure his sacrifice is never forgotten. That's when we really thought we were going to die because when that wall of debris came at us, everything was black. And all the sirens suddenly went silent. This is the survival story of John and Donna Neely of Mountain, Wisconsin. We were on the 77th floor of Tower One. All of the death and, and the destruction that happened that day. Still have regular nightmares about it, so. 23 years later, they tell their story for the 2,996 others who can't. At 8.46 a.m., Tower 1 was hit. Flight 11 had slammed into their building just 16 floors above them. It felt like the building was kicked. The impact instantly killed hundreds and trapped hundreds more on higher floors. We looked out the windows and it just looked like a ticker tape parade. All the debris coming down from up above. We went to the stairs and for the first number of flights down to 44. Um, it was pretty fast going. Um, they were pretty empty. I mean, we kind of felt like, well, it isn't a big deal because there's no one in the stairwell. We got down about the 29th floor and that's when we met Kevin. Kevin Donnelly, one of the firefighters who kept the calm during the chaos and one of the 343 firefighters lost in the attacks. Had a very brief conversation with Kevin, and that's when we learned that um, two planes hit the buildings. It was a long way down, but when Donna and John finally reached the street level, they saw the chaos outside. The first thing we did when we actually got out was look up. What did you see when you looked up? The smoke coming out of the building two rings of flame going around each building. Donna, who was six months pregnant, stopped to catch her breath. The two were out of Tower 1 just five minutes before Tower 2 collapsed. Oh! It just looked like the facade of the building was melting. The concept that the building was coming down had never crossed my mind at that point. And the concept that there were still people in the building. Exactly. We decided that we couldn't outrun the cloud that was coming our way. It looked like a 30-story cloud of debris just coming down this narrow New York street. It was, it was hot. You, you couldn't see anything. Despite being consumed by that cloud, they made it through alive. All they could do now was keep walking. I mean, there's so many things that are burned into your brain after surviving something like that. Is there something that you remember the most? I think one of the things would be the fact that despite what was happening, when you see firefighters going up, you think, oh, I'm going to be okay. I think resulted in the stairwell being as calm as it was. One of the things that is amazing to me is 23 years later, Wisconsin is going to put on a, a stair climb that's going to have three or four thousand people attending it. And that's just so mind boggling to me that that many people still care. And for us, our responsibility is to tell the story.